right guys, so welcome back. Getting a little bit farther on the card. I did get everything pretty much kind of bolted into its final resting place. Even though uh, even though I don't have all four bolts in on the intercooler, it is pretty sturdy. It'll move the whole car. Just left the bottom ones open. Pre-drilled, but then put a top one in there. I really don't even think I'm going to put the bottom ones in. I don't think it's necessary. So got to finish putting the coupler bands on all that stuff and I did have to kind of mash this down a little bit to get this to clear because when I did go up I didn't fit this thing with um, the intercooler in place I just kind of eyeballed this where I thought it should go and it was a little bit too far so I just kind of bent that little flange out that should be fine doesn't really change it all that much. What I was doing when I uh, set it up, I was just referencing the top line of the radiator following this bar. That's all I did. So that's all on there now. I did also go ahead and polish with a wire wheel. Got all the little gritty crap off of the uh, welds, like all the scaly junk. As you can see there, I still left this inside here. It was kind of this dark gray color with a little bit of brown, kind of scaly, ugly looking. And just kind of went up and polished the whole pipe. So there you can see a before and after. Before on the right, where it's got all this like coating crap on it. And on the left there where it's a little bit shinier. So it looks a little nicer, a little bit better. Agree or disagree, whatever, I'm rolling with it. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Still got to put nuts on there on the back side. Found some different bolts. I'm just kind of going through my spare nuts and bolts bins and using what I can. So you can see I also did the black. I repainted all this. It was gray primer before. Now it's all a semi gloss black. So it's not perfect. It's not great, but it doesn't really look terrible so now that I pointed it out there you go so I think what I need to do now is uh, start measuring up the fuel lines I know I keep talking about fuel lines I might as well just start doing it all right kids and squids I think I'm gonna try to get some of this fuel system done so I have the regulator and everything and I wanted to show you guys these lines so I did test fit the fitting with the line on these and it went on there very decently. If you guys remember, I was having some struggles with getting the fittings onto my other AN lines that I had. I could barely get them on there no matter what I did. I actually had to cut some of the braiding away to get it on. It just wouldn't happen. So what I did differently this time, I wanted to kind of eliminate the issue being the line versus buying different fittings because I was buying the line by the foot and then I was buying the fittings individually. So I went ahead and just bought the kits you can find them on eBay and they're like 40 50 bucks depending on the size but they come with like 16 feet of line and a bunch of fittings so I did that and the first fitting that I put on there went right on perfectly all the way on I was just able to do it by hand with minimal pressure and I like it I'm happy about that so that's gonna make life a lot easier because I was spending probably 20 30 minutes just trying to get each fitting on last time I did the the fuel system on the Z so that's where we're at yeah paint is all dry now everything it does have that little semi gloss look there's a couple spots that kind of look a little you know snotty but whatever uh, I think I'm gonna put the fuel pressure regulator over here on this side somewhere and then where the brake lines come through right there I'm probably gonna cut a little bit of an opening I think that's what I might want to try to do and bring the fuel line up in there, mount the regulator in this area somewhere, and come back over to the fuel rails. So let's get started on that. Okay guys, so getting a little creative over here. I did drill some holes, and I was just gonna bolt it down, and I actually bent the bracket so it would match the strut tower, right? And then I was gonna bolt it on. I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. And then I decided, because I, I didn't have any bolts, that were the right diameter and then I was going to use like a a metal tie to just tie it on and I couldn't really get it tight and didn't really feel like messing with it so what I'm going to do is weld it on let's try that 
So I did drill some access holes here and here. So if I do need to actually remove the regulator, I can still get to the bolts on the back side because it's pretty tight back there. So I should be able to uh, still access the bolts where I need to. And I'm just gonna weld this bracket on. Let's do it. All right, so I got it set up. Uh, I'm gonna use like a 1 16th rod. About 75 amps I wanna try. And I'm gonna be using the foot pedal on this one. I don't think I'm gonna use the rod first. I'm just gonna try to get a couple tacks down. On the corners. sure my my holes are lined up so I can my access holes that I made are actually kind of lined up this will be pretty close I think the back side. I'll show you what I got so far. It's <clears throat> the tack on that side. And then over here. So I'm just going to go through and finish weld that thing and then uh, be done with it. Okay, so got a little bit more done. Only a little bit more. Got this thing mounted. Did TIG weld the whole thing. And painted it now. So that's all mounted, lines are ran back. And what I'm gonna do is run the line on the back side of this pinch through the hole. Back side here, I might tuck it up a little higher, even if I can. But mount it all back here on the back side of that pinch weld, and then back this way underneath. And going to basically follow what I did with the brake lines in the previous video. And go inside the frame and then come back out here so this is going to be the return line uh, I don't know exactly what position I want to put them in yet but this is kind of essentially what it's going to be and then I do have the fuel pump and I'm probably just going to take the fuel pump and mount it underneath somewhere over here here this way or something taking some metal I'll probably take like another piece of square tubing something and then put it across from here to here and then just mount and hang this thing here and then I'll be able to take the fuel cell sump run a little U around to the infeed it's gonna be a dash 10 infeed and then a dash 8 to the front so we'll mount this thing in here somewhere. I might even go over on the side, somewhere over here, over here, something like that. I don't know. So we'll see, see what we want to do. But that's the plan. And then fuel cell, pump underneath, battery, something, something, somewhere, wires, diff cover, clean the snot out. There's some snot. Snot down there. Get the snot out of there and then we'll be good. Have a good one.